In this video, I'm going to show you how to take unformatted JSON in Notepad++ and convert it from this to this. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Watchers from Bavork. If this is your first time here and you want to learn about automating, programming, and monitoring in VMware environments, you're in the right place. Start now by subscribing and click the bell so that you don't miss a thing. To begin, let me give a little background how it is that I came to have a JSON file that I needed formatted nicely in Notepad++. As you can see here, I'm working this week in VMware vRealize Automation 8. Don't worry if you don't use VRA8. Uh, you don't need to understand VRA8 or have VRA8 for this video to make sense. But I'm using VRA8 this week using services such as Cloud Assembly and Service Broker. And when I'm working in Cloud Assembly, as I am here, creating a blueprint to deploy a machine, the code that I write to deploy that machine is written in YAML, which we can see over here on the right. And YAML, as you quite likely already know, is a indentation sensitive language. So having an editor that can indent the YAML code correctly is quite useful. And VRA8 does that for me. At times, I want to take this YAML code from VRA8 and bring it into other tools such as Notepad++. So VRA8 allows me to download the YAML and save it as a file. As you can see here, if I go into Notepad++ and open up that file, here's the file. If I open up that file in Notepad++, it's nicely formatted. It retains the indentation, and Notepad++ even gives me these handy-dandy little buttons that I can use to expand and collapse different sections of my YAML code. So that works for my YAML code. It also works when I'm over in Service Broker doing things such as designing a custom form. If I want to, I can export that custom form as YAML and take a look at it over in Notepad++. So if I go to Notepad++ and open up my custom form in YAML format, again, I can see the YAML. It's indented. It's got the little expand collapse buttons, and life is good. But you'll notice that in Service Broker, I can also choose Export Form. Uh, it doesn't say it here explicitly, but that's going to export the form as a JSON file. Now watch what happens when I try to open up that JSON file. So here's my custom form. It's the same custom form, but it's in JSON form, Matt. If I open this up, this is not so useful. Uh, it is legal JSON here, but it's all a single line. And I want to be able to view this JSON in a more meaningful way. So what I'm going to do in Notepad++ is to install a plugin to allow me to make sense of this JSON. To do so, I'm going to go to Plugins, Plugin Admin, and in here there are lots of available plugins, but one that will do the trick for me is called JS Tool. If I search for JS Tool, I can select it, click Install, and it warns me here that uh, in order to install the plugin, it's going to need to restart Notepad++. I'll go ahead and say yes here. Notepad++ installs the plugin, then Notepad++ reinstalls. And as you can see, I still have a single line of JSON code. But notice now that I've got the plugin installed, I can go to Plugins, JS Tool, and I've got lots of different options, but the one I want here is JS Format. Uh, notice there's also a keyboard shortcut, Control-Alt-M. If I choose JS Format, ta-da, I got what I'm looking for. I've got my JSON, but it's now nicely formatted, indented, and once again, it's got those handy-dandy expand and collapse buttons. So there you have it. That's all it takes. Install the JS Tools plugin for Notepad++, and you're in business.